At ESMO 2022, I presented results of SWOG S1801. The rationale for this study is that neoadjuvant immunotherapy given before you take out a tumor generates a stronger anti-tumor T-cell response than the same therapy administered after removal of the tumor. S1801 is a randomized phase two study. 345 melanoma patients with stage 3B to stage four resectable melanoma were randomized to either treatment on the adjuvant arm, where participants underwent surgery followed by 18 doses of flat dose pembrolizumab every three weeks. Participants on the neoadjuvant arm received three doses of pembrolizumab every three weeks, followed by surgery and then 15 doses of adjuvant pembrolizumab. The primary endpoint of the study is event-free survival, which is measured from the time of randomization to either the inability to re receive surgery due to pro progression of disease or toxicity, the inability to start adjuvant therapy within 84 days, which is the standard window for melanoma, melanoma recurrence after surgery or death. At a median follow-up of 14.7 months, the primary analysis was triggered after 104 events. The event-free survival was statistically significant and longer in the neoadjuvant arm compared to the adjuvant arm. The hazard ratio was 0.58 with a p-value of 0.004. There was no increase in any safety-related signals, and the use of neoadjuvant pembrolizumab did not increase the rate of surgical complications or events. The key takeaway is that neoadjuvant immunotherapy for resectable melanoma improves outcomes. And now community oncologists can consider giving immunotherapy before surgery for cancer that's resectable.